What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I know me and my family did. Uh, I might have to jog from California to New Jersey to burn off all the extra LBs, if you know what I mean. All right, so what's the true color of Mars? Are we looking at the real Mars when we see red planet? We're going to have a look at that in depth real quick. It's not going to take very long to do it. And then I want to show you guys what looks like an intelligently carved stone, but they try to hide it and blend it into the actual ground itself or to the rock scenery, right? All right, let's hop out of this. All right, I told you guys I was going to show you like Hubble as well as India, things like that. Okay, here's a perfect example. We've got Mars, February 1995, and you can see, look at this, guys. Does that look like a red planet to you? This is from NASA. You can see space images, Hubble's sharpest view. And I'm not just seeing, I'm seeing landmass. I'm seeing what looks like, could, I see greens, what could be trees. I see blues, could be, could be bodies of water, right? You can look at this one here, okay? Now, some people say, well, man, those are nothing but composites. Okay, you're right. All that means is if they're taking filters, like the red filter, the green filter, and the blue, which is the normal you'd see. Like, I'm sure you guys are familiar if you look in the back of your TV set, you see RGB. Well, that's your three main colors, your red, green, and blue, right? So what they do is they take the photo of Mars, same exact picture, three times, red, green, blue filters, compile them together. There's your composite. Doesn't make the photo any less real, right, guys? Does Mars have storms? Yes. But to say it's always red, that's not true. And you can see it right here. Now, we can go down to this right here. And you see right here, Mo Hubble Space Telescope, Mars at Opposition, 1995. And, of course, you've got the Tharsis region, and it tells you the longitude, which is 160 degrees. you got Valles Marineris, region 60 degrees longitude. And, and you got Sirius Major region, 270 degrees longitude. All right. So, again, these are, these are composites, but, that, again, it doesn't make it any less real, right? All right. So, here's another photo. And again, from 1995, February. And you can see Wide Field Planetary Camera 2, right? So that probably has several cameras on board. And this is what I'm saying. It's Look at this. I don't see red here. I see all the same colors we have here on Earth. Now, is it all the abundant colors? Probably not, because it has more land mass than it has water, as opposed to Earth, right? All right. So let's jump into this page here. Now, we've got the Department of Space, India Space Research Organization, which is the ISRO right here, this insignia, right? You can look at these photos. They've taken these themselves through the MOM, which is the Martian Orbiter Mission probe. And it's just bizarre, some of the many colors. Now, it may be just the way the, uh, the aperture on the camera is just letting in more light, a little less light, giving these weird colors. Because these two alone, this one and this one here on the lower left, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to bring these things out. And a lot of times, Photoshop sees this thing as nothing like the colors they're showing, like red meaning, right? So here's one right here. And this looks more realistic as far as I'm concerned. This does not look like anything that is just completely red. Look at this. It almost has this weird, like, one side of octagon shape kind of thing going on. See that? But this is what they want you to believe. It's nothing more than a red, barren, shit planet. And it's clearly not. This one here, not too bad. Looks pretty good, right? But in, enhance a little bit. You still got your your browns. You got your what looks like tints of green. You've got your blue, right? You got all that. This one here, you got the Tharsis Montes, Tharsis Tholis, and you know you bring it down a little bit and enhance this thing, and you got more natural colors. Even though this looks more brown, but this may actually be deserts on Mars, and this is the reason why you're seeing this, right? Okay, let's jump over to this one here. This one's not bad. You got the Huygens. Um, that was named after the uh, Huygens probe. And you got Cassini as well, Cassini probe. But let's go ahead and enhance that. And you're seeing browns, which is landmass. You got your greens up here. You can see a bunch of that. Blues could be bodies of water. We don't know. This one here. You look at it. This is more realistic if you look at it, right? We've got this photo here. This one looks pretty good, right? Didn't have to really mess with it too much. And this is what it enhanced just a hair bit. I can see all kinds of colors in here, guys. I can see the atmosphere. I can see different colors. I can see all that. Again, another one just like this. Here's our three volcanoes. One in the middle, two, three, and the one in the back over there you can't see. But this is, there you go. This is more accurate color. This is what Photoshop will see. And you can sometimes enhance a little bit more yourself. And I don't mean paint in the colors, but I mean enhance it by the way the, the adjustments. You can manually do this or you can do it auto, but I prefer to do it manually. 
And then we've got this one here. Now, this one here, this is a photo of, uh, they got Phobos in here, one of the moons. And the other one is Deimos or Diamos, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, but this one here is Phobos. Now, let's check this out. Okay. And we've got this here. I'm seeing, again, tans, what looks like landmass. And this might be a lake right here in the middle. And of course, I'm speculating. But, I mean, I can see what looks like landmass. I can see an atmosphere of it. Now, I remember a while back they were saying this was like clouds reaching into the higher uh, atmosphere, if you will. And when I look at this, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing an atmosphere. Okay? This one here, this next one. This one here, I actually, when I was down in uh, Alabama at the Moz Conference, this was a couple years back, and I showed this very photo. And when I did this, I just turned it around a little bit. Okay? And then I enhanced it. I got a bunch of oohs and ahs. Why? Because this is nowhere near the photo. This is what Mars really looks like. Now, if, if you look at this, you can see nothing but your browns, your greens, your blues. Now, the reason why you can't see the atmosphere that much right here, because if you're looking straight down, right, it's pretty thin. But if you were to take yourself and, like, start, it's like going looking into a cloud sideways, right? It now looks a lot bigger, and it's hard to see through it. Well, it's the same thing applies here. You're just looking into it straight down almost. And then, of course, you're looking like this way. If you were to look across the atmosphere of the planet, and you can see the blues. This is the real color of this planet. This is, don't let them tell you otherwise. This is it right here. Now, I don't care if they're composites or just straight up, just regular color photo. Regardless, it's a color photo, right? Um, it still doesn't make it any less valid. Uh, but this is it right here. This is what they gave us. And you can still see the atmosphere, man. Look at this. You know? There you go. All right, now let me show you this one here. We're going to go to right here. This is actually Sol 186. Now, when you look at this photo, what do you see? Now, most people say, you know, they'll get sarcastic. Oh, I see rocks, man. I see rocks. I do too. But what about the hidden one right here? You got this block. People go, oh, there's a block right there, clearly. No, no. What about this one? And what about this one? Huh. Why did they put this over this? Let me show you this a little bit better because you really can't zoom into this a whole lot. I mean, you can without it. Well, it'll distort a little bit. Now, let me jump into this right here. Now, let's look at this a little bit closer. Because I did actually make it a little bit bigger as well. And we're going to jump on over here and then down. You can see these blocks. Look at these blocks, man. I mean, it's right there in your face. But what they're doing is they're hiding these things, right? I mean, I'm just going to do a sloppy kind of thing right here. And I'm going to show you the other way I did it. Make it a little bit cleaner. But there you go. There's another edge right here. And, of course, you get the shadow of it going like this. But Now, is it possible that this here is the actual inner block of a structure and this somehow was on the outside of said structure or is it nothing more than their manipulation to try to make it and blend it because look at i mean i'm looking at this thing and i'm going okay yeah if you were to look at it like this real quick you say oh it's just rounded rocks just rocks sitting there nothing not a big deal this has clearly been carved you can see the corners i mean some people say well we got those on earth and Na mother nature can make these okay i get that but I'm just seeing like a couple blocks here, three blocks. You can see it right here. Let me go ahead and switch this. You got one block here, two blocks, and you got this other right here. Now, if you zoom into this one here, again, we've got this corner. We've got this 90 degree corner going like this, going down, slopes down a little bit, goes over, straight down, and another corner. Guys, there's no way. There's no way, man. That is not going to be natural with this other smooth rock supposedly the smooth rock on over it right come on man these are not this here i don't know i don't know if that was just put on that may be put on on top of this to blend it into the actual scenery right so let's keep going and i'm going to show you this outline i did right there and you've got this other block right here at least it looks like a block now whether this one here is a block or not i'm not sure but it does look like a blocky kind of thing right notice also this right here it's got this whiter spot right smack dab. It's not in the middle of the block, of course, but let me just go ahead and jump into this a little more. Black and white. Now, you can see that right there. Now, again, I, I always tell people, listen, I can just take this right here, my, my dodge tool right there, and we can go like this if we want to, and it'll maybe lighten up a little bit, or if you go like this, Suddenly, what's light really comes out, right? 
See that? There's actually something white sitting right there on that block. Go to the original, and there you go. You can see it. It's right there. See that? And I love these older photos. Why? Because they're not as manipulated. And if you notice, look how clear they look compared to some of these other ones we've seen, right? The new ones are a lot more garbage. And I think the reason for that is because there's a lot more in those photos to hide now that they're closer to these areas that they really wanted to get closer to, right? That's why I think a lot of these are piss poor photos now is because they're really trying to fool the eye. A lot of times they'll hide stuff in plain sight right here. And it, it doesn't surprise me. They're hiding the actual atmosphere of Mars. Um, you know, they, they claim if those are clouds in the upper atmosphere, then there's a lot of clouds, man. That's a lot of water vapor. And we already know. I've said this before, and then they've said it. There's a water cycle close to the ground in Gale Crater. But I think it's more than that. And I think there's a, there's a water cycle. There's an actual warmer temperatures, more than they're saying. Um, you can go on the app and look at the actual weather station of Curiosity, and it'll show that it's like, 30 degrees, 50. They say the average is like 60 or 80 degrees below zero, when clearly it's not. I can look at it in the summertime here, and it's not much different. Well, it is, but I mean, it's not a whole lot different. It might be about 20, 30 degrees difference from here to Mars. So what gives? Water cycle, got methane. Uh, we're seeing the real colors of Mars. Uh, we've got blocks that have been hidden here. Guys, listen, at least my opinion, and, and not everybody has to go along with my opinion, right? Um, but when you add all these together, not only do I believe that Mars is active, I think there was a civilization on there. Of course, it's based on these photos. Now, some people will say, hey, Chris, you know, how do we know these are not taken here on Earth? OK, well, then you still have a legitimate argument and you should be asking NASA because one way or the other, they're they're lying to us. If these photos are completely bogus and absolute crap and they were taking them here on Earth, then they still have to answer to the public. Will they? Probably never. But that's not the point. You still have an argument, and you still have to ask the question, what's going on here? Whether they're on Mars hiding this stuff, or they're just making this look like they're passing it off from Earth and making it look like Mars. Either way, they need to answer the question. Either way, they're lying to us. But me personally, I believe they're on Mars 100%, because um, there's other countries watching us send these things over there. I mean, they've got telescopes where they can see Mars. Come on. They can literally see our spacecraft go all the way to Mars. So... Don't think for a moment they can't. I mean, there's some very large telescopes out there, right? So, but uh, again, this is my opinion. Nothing more, right? All right, guys, I'm going to jump on out of here. I got another cool one, and it's just, it's going to be another quick video because it's, it's like right there in your face. I'm going to show you that one. That one's coming right up after this one. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, you guys, have yourself a good one, and we'll see you on the flip side.